this is Dr. Hayek and this video is about acid-base equilibria. In today's topic we will talk about acid-base indicators. Let me remind you of the outline of this chapter where this video will be the last of a series of six videos so please refer to the corresponding video for the topic of interest. Now acid-base indicators by definition the most common acid-base indicators are complex molecules that are themselves weak acids and in this case we will just give them the symbol HIN H for hydrogen IN for indicator so IN minus will be the conjugate base of the HIN acid so they exhibit one color when the proton is attached to them and another color when the proton is separated so basically we can take a look on the structure of the phenolphthalein molecule and you can see that it's colorless when the hydrogen is attached to it so it enters the form of HIN and pink when the uh, hydrogen is removed that's the IN minus form now the equivalence point can be determined either if we have the titration curve so that's easy we can determine the equivalence point or if we are doing a titration in the lab it's easier to use an acid base indicator which will mark the end point of the titration by changing its color or the color of the solution so consider the following equilibrium for a hypothetical indicator so you have the HIN will dissociate like an acid to give H plus plus IN minus we can write the expression of Ka of, for this equilibrium and we can rearrange it to get the ratio between Ka and concentration of H plus is equal to the ratio of the concentration of I minus divided by the concentration of HIN now suppose we add few drops of this indicator to an acidic solution that has a pH is equal to 1 and Ka is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the power minus 8 so then in this case we can determine the ratio between the concentration of IN minus and HIN which is 1 over 10 million so in this case we can see that the uh, the form HIN is the predominant form for the indicator resulting in a red solution so assuming that this indicator is red when it's acidic and blue when it's basic so as OH minus increases the concentration of H plus decreases and the equilibrium shifts to the right changing the color from red to blue now for the human eye to detect that the color is different from the original one the ratio between the IN minus and HIN has to be 1 over 10 now if we use Henderson Hasselbalch equation and we calculate the pH now we can say pH is equal to pKa plus log of base divided by acid so we plug these uh, values and we get that the pH is equal to 8 minus 1 that's equal to 7 okay so now in a basic solution the OH minus will be larger than H plus which is normal and the color of the solution will be blue and therefore the predominant form of the indicator is going to be the IN minus now the IN minus over the HIN for the human eye to detect it it has to be 10 over 1 again plug this in the Henderson Hasselbalch equation we can find that the pH is going to be equal to 9 so what does it mean it means that for the useful pH for the indicator it's going to be uh, pH is equal to pKa plus minus 1 which means that if we have a pH curve for a titration the change of the color of the indicator or the pH interval of the indicator has to be between pH plus 1 and pH minus 1 now this is very important when you are determining which indicator you can use for your titration now 
For a titration of 100 milliliter of 0.1 molar of hydrochloric acid, which is a strong acid, with a 0.1 molar of sodium hydroxide, which is a strong base, the pH changes from 5.3 to 8.7 after the addition of about half a drop near the equivalence point. So as you can see in here, by adding half a drop, of the base the pH changes from 5.3 to 8.7 now in conclusion we can say that indicator color change will be sharp occurring with the addition of a single drop of titrant so when you are choosing an indicator the color of the indicator has to change within this range of the pH now there is a wide choice of suitable indicators when it comes to strong acid and strong base titration however we have limited options or choices when we have when we are working with weak acids so the weaker the acid being titrated the smaller is the vertical area around the equivalence point the pH range of the indicator being chosen should have a midpoint as close as possible to the pH of the equivalence point and for that we have a wide range of the indicators but you have to watch for the pH interval so as you can see in here we have a, a take, take for example the bromothymol blue it works when the uh, pH of the equivalence point is between 6 and 7.6 now it changes color from yellow to blue I hope this video was helpful to you so please like share and subscribe and I will see you next time